the gross domestic product of Britain has shrunk and will shrink significantly. And that shrinkage in GDP will cause government revenue to drop substantially. My estimate for this is that the government will be about £200 billion pounds a year worse off every year for the coming few years. Yes, we could probably cut everything. We could probably cut the health service and probably cut social costs and cut, cut, cut. But all of that cutting will not generate the jobs, will not generate the wealth. The alternative is that we do borrow a huge sum of money, which I've also already explained, is feasible now under these very, very unusual and unique economic circumstances. That money, though, has to be invested incredibly wisely. It's all about biggest bang for buck. It's all about trying to invest that money to create a greater Britain, a more exciting Britain, a more prosperous Britain, and getting all of those people back to work, getting that economic drag of unemployment away and getting those people producing for the future. Focus on this, for me, would be renewable energy. I focus on renewable energy because we all know that this planet is under massive duress and we absolutely need to solve the climate crisis and the environmental crisis that we're all facing over the next 20 or 30 years. If we invest hugely in renewable energy, we could become very nearly self-sufficient on energy in a renewable format by the year 2030. It's only 10 years away, but it could be done with the right will, the right capital, and the right drive behind it. In fact, I would go further and to say what I'd really like to see is a Silicon Valley of the renewable energy space in the UK, and maybe put try and find a hundred or even a thousand acre site somewhere where we can develop this renewable energy city. And this renewable energy city would become the brain of the globe in terms of creating renewable energy methods. And if we can do that, if we can attract inward investment from companies that are already expert in renewable energy, if we can expect uh, if we can bring in the world's top brains on this, we could develop an industry that is absolutely world-beating and not only just be self-sustainable on renewable energy by the year 2030, but also, in addition, have exportable production. All the technology that we develop that we then sell around the world and the technolo technological expertise to roll that out. So I see renewable energy at the forefront of that from a job creation point of view, from an environmental point of view and from an economic point of view. But there are other things that are absolutely crucial. The next point is the infrastructure of the UK. And any investment in infrastructure should be with a, an express purpose of trying to create jobs and a future for Britain. And it, it would certainly include road, rail, and definitely fiber optic, because we've all seen during the pandemic that we can actually work from home more than we thought we could. But in many cases, the internet is so poor that it actually inhibits that process. So fiber optic would be a big part of that. The next point that I'm really passionate about and is so incredible for Brit uh, incredibly important for Britain's future are apprenticeship schemes. Over the last 20 or 30 years, I've witnessed apprenticeship schemes like the one that I went to in Mitchell Entire Company. Those apprenticeship schemes dwindle and kids being pushed to university. I absolutely believe in a lot of the cases that that's wrong. What we need to do is create world-class apprenticeship schemes that teach young people a huge range of skills in their chosen field, whether that be engineering, whether it be finance, whether it be operations, whatever the skill is, to teach those kids that skill. But not in isolation to further education. They should be doing the same that I did with Mitchell Entire Company and go on educational courses at university that give them a very, very high level of intellectual furtherance of their abilities. 
and you combine the two together, along with management training, along with social uh, investment in social areas, so spending some time in hospitals and so on, helping care for people. If you put all that package together, the person after five years, instead of doing A-levels and a degree, comes out so far way ahead of any degree student and with a qualification and with life skills. So that's a vital investment in Britain's future.